And now, Sky, family memories. Thank you, Sky. Um, good morning, everyone. Or oh, should I say, in my big five-year-old voice, quiet, everybody, I'm talking. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for being here. Um, I would like to take a moment to reflect on some of the family's favourite memories of Grandma. Colin touched on his favourite memory in the life sketch, sitting around the potbelly stove in the lounge room at Thistledown Cottage. The room was always warm and cosy. The TV would be on and Papa would be sitting in his favourite chair. Grandma would be sitting in hers, quite often knitting, the stitches dropping off the needles as she would start to nod off to sleep. Somehow she always managed to wake up for the ads and Papa watching her with that smile on his face and gleam in his eyes. <coughs> Dave remembers fondly the days when Grandma would catch the train with him and his friends, Laurie Tiller and Nick Matthews. Grandma was working at Packride at the time and Dave was attending high school in Strathmore. Grandma would always have a packet of fruit tingles that she would share around. The transport prefect, Wayne French, would try and put the boys on detention for eating on the train, but he never succeeded as Grandma would pipe up, I bought the fruit tingles and these are my children and I'm responsible for them. I'm sure in that tone as well. <laughs> Often when catching the train, they would park the car at the old Gosford church, surfboards in the back, the wax melting off from if it was a hot day. First thing Grandma would do after everyone was off the train and back in the car was drive Dave and his mates to the beach for a surf. She would just drop them off, pick them back up later. Another memory that has given us all a good laugh was the time when Dave was learning to drive. It had been raining and there were decent sized puddles around there was a little old house with a bus stop out the front, just as you came up to turn left onto Carlton Road. Dave could have taken the corner a bit wider, but no, he zoomed right through the puddle, wetting two dear old ladies that were sitting at the bus stop. Grandma's remark was, David, your driving could have been better and you did not have to wet the ladies. <laughs> for Nettie, she loved the events that Grandma put on. She catered for so many weddings, Nettie's and mine, to name a couple, and Dave's 21st was quite the event. All of these, she did all the catering for these events single-handedly, and she would also make the beautiful cakes that Uncle Colin touched on. And Nettie is so, so proud that her mum was such a fantastic bread maker and that she won prizes for the Easter show many years in a row. One of Amber's favourite memories was when Grandma would pick us both up from school. She would drive us out to Terrigal where I had maths tutoring. Grandma and Amber would wait in the car, and Grandma always had Amber's favourite snack on hand. Jack's crackers, tasty, cheese slices. <coughs> Amber and Grandma would talk about their days while Amber did her homework, and school holidays for us girls were always a favourite. Watching some of our favourites, All the Rivers Run, Memstone River, Gone with the Wind, and we would also watch Puppet's favourites as well, and he'd sneak in from his outside task to come and watch them with us, Mr Bean, mothers do have I remember watching Mr Bean and the baby so many times I think that must have been past favourite. Amber also loved how whenever we'd walk into River Thistledown Cottage it would smell like freshly made bread. Emma loved the magical fairy garden of Thistledown Cottage with the garden full of flowers, gnomes and statues. Watching the classic Rogers and Hammerstein movies that Grandma introduced us grandkids to, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers being a firm favourite with Showboat, Oklahoma and Clamity Jane. Making homemade pizzas, um, and you couldn't forget to sprinkle the dried oregano on top. And Grandma always used to make crumbed and fried vegetarian sausages, which was Emma's favourite when she was there. Um, and now this is a note from Trent, and these are in Trent's words too. Trent's favourite memory of Grandma is being called Matthew. Now I know this might be, seem odd because it isn't really my name. I'm very envious of the time that Matthew and Aaron got to spend with Grandma when we always lived so far away. But each time she called me Matthew, it didn't, make, it didn't remind me of how little time we got to spend together. Rather, it made me feel like she loves me just as much as my cousin who saw her nearly daily. I'm not the best at staying in touch but I know that each time we did talk or spend time together, her love for me had never dwindled or diminished. I always felt like we could always pick back up again where we left off, and though I'm not here to be with you all, 
Now I've lost my space. <laughs> to kiss, hug and cry as we got through our as we get through our loss together. I'll wait instead for the day where in Christ we shall all stand. And I love my grandma because I know that she first loved me. Mm. And now it's my turn. I have so many precious memories like we all do. That I will just shoot the novel. Um for me. As a child, it was spent with Grandma on Sabbath. Amber and I always sat with him in church. Grandma would always pop by on her way home from church for a cuddle and a cup of tea. She loved having a cup of tea out of a teapot, thanks to my husband's English roots. She loved my Jeffrey, and has he reminded her so much of Papa. We will all miss Grandma dearly, but are ever grateful for the memories we have and the love. 